Sharif Cooper is back and he played his first game this morning at 11 a.m. Central. And let's just say he went off and it was a crazy game in general. We're going to talk all about it. So if you're new to this channel and love basketball content, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 100K. And without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. There is so many places where we can start with this video, but I'm gonna start with last night. Last night, it was announced that Sharif Cooper is cleared to play for the rest of the season, and he was gonna play in today's game against Alabama. This news came at such a strange time because it happened at night, nobody really knew if it was true or not, and number two, nobody really thought he was gonna be cleared this year anyways. Regardless of that and moving on, he was cleared, it is what it is, and we was all happy about it as fans in general. Sharif was one of the most highly touted recruits in high school last year and everybody's been waiting for him to play so there was a lot of hype honestly this is just me but i didn't know what to expect going into this game and i surely didn't expect what he did to happen today it's his first game back think about it he hasn't played in a single game this year so i thought he was going to ease into things maybe have six to eight points but boy was i wrong he eased his way into this game against alabama but once he got going he got hot very quick he was the leading scorer for auburn but that's not the best part about this game you could tell the impact he brings to any team he's on. If he was not playing in this game, Alabama would have ran away with it and it wouldn't have been close at all, especially in the first half. Cooper was single-handedly keeping Auburn in this basketball game. Points-wise, yes, he was helping the team, but it's not just that, it's the little things he brings. He knows how to manage the game. He's a great scorer, but he's also a great passer. He was getting Auburn in the mix of things, getting everyone involved, and it looked like a good team out there. I understand Alabama isn't known for their basketball. The main reason for that is because their football team is so dominant, but they're a really good team this year. They're sitting at nine and three. Going into this game, Alabama was 3-0 in SEC play and Auburn was 0-3. For the first half, you can't say enough good things about Sharif because he was doing what he did in high school, creating and getting to the basket. The second half, it was much of the same and you could say it was even better for him. It just seems like the more he kept playing, the more he got comfortable and that is a scary thing for anybody that's going to play him this year. If you didn't watch this game, you missed a good one because Auburn did lose 94-90 but it was super close and very intense. It was was a high scoring game and a lot of threes were shot. Alabama went 10 for 32 on three pointers and Auburn went 8 for 27. So combined, these teams shot a total of almost 60 threes in a single game. The only thing you can critique about Sharif Cooper was his three point percentage because he was only one for seven from the field and that's straight up terrible, but everything else, it was very solid. Alabama also had a player who's very good that not a lot of people talk about. He goes by the name of Josh Primo. He's supposed to be in high school, but he's out there balling in college. He had 22 points. He started out the game with three straight threes and he caught fire. He did cool off and by cool off, I mean really cool off. He finished the game five for 17 from the field and four for eight on the three pointers. I know a bunch of you are curious about Sharif's stats. He went eight for 19 from the field, which is okay. What really hurt him was his three point shots. Like I said, he went one for seven. So that hurt his overall field goal percentage. Finished the game in total with 26 points, nine assists and four rebounds. If you didn't watch this game, another huge knock I'm gonna have to put on Sharif was he did kind of sell at the end. Auburn was down by a couple of points and he took a terrible three pointer, missed the shot. Auburn got a steal, had a fast break and he took another three pointer and airballed it. Not only that, but he did have two Two costly turnovers right before that so this game yes you could say he did sell it for him at the end but Auburn wouldn't even been in discussion about when this game if Sharif didn't play I don't typically like to give passes but I got to give Sharif a pass because it's his first game back the rest of Auburn's team was mediocre at best. The only other good player was Flanagan. He had 19 points and shot 50% from the field. For Alabama and how they won this game was they just stayed true to their roots and it's been the remedy for the entire season. Not one player carries this Alabama team. Everybody pitches in. Listen to these stats for the starters. Bruner had 20, Jones had 19, Primo had 22, Shackelford had 11, and Petty had 10. All five of the starters were in double digits, and that's a recipe for success. If you got five starters scoring over 10 points in any single game, you're going to have a good shot of winning. 
Is Alabama the greatest defensive team ever? Absolutely not, but that's not their play style. They score a ton of points. They think if they can hold you under 85 points, they're gonna win. I wouldn't say it's vice versa for Auburn. Auburn's not a great offensive team, especially without Sharif. With Sharif, it changes their whole team, but on defense, they're just terrible, I'm gonna say it. They look lost out there. And the reason Alabama took 32 threes in this game wasn't because they just shoot a ton of threes like that normally, it's because they was wide open most of the time. Sharif had a good game and that's what this video is about. We're focusing on him, but Auburn does have a serious defensive problem. You wanna know what a really bad sign is? If you watch this game, you know what I'm talking about. Alabama didn't even play that good offensively and they did not shoot the ball good. They was 10 for 32 on threes, 10 for 32, which is only a total of 31%. You can make an argument and say that's okay, but it's really not, especially if you're shooting 30. The overall field goal percentage wasn't any better. They was only 41%. And matter of fact, Auburn actually outshot Alabama in field goal percentage and they shot 47%, but still lost. It wasn't even like Auburn was getting out rebounded and bullied by Alabama either, because Alabama, they're not a bully team. They just spread it out and shoot a ton of threes. The rebounds was 38 to 34, so, Alabama didn't have that many second chances that Auburn didn't either. Back on topic with Sharif though, wow, just what can I say? He completely shocked me. This is a perfect example too because we've made some videos talking about BJ Boston, how he's been disappointing, and all y'all talk about in the comment section is, oh, he's a freshman, you gotta give him time. But this is a perfect example as to why I don't have to give him time. Josh Christopher, Sharif Cooper, and there's many other freshmen, they're going out there and balling out. When I say I'm tired, I am so so freaking tired of people giving the freshman excuse. Maybe 10 years ago, yeah, I can understand, but it's different now. Freshmen come in and they're expected to produce. And it's not just a freshman. If BJ Boston was a three-star recruit, I could understand it. But the fact he's a five-star, there's no excuse. Think about this. Sharif Cooper hasn't played basketball in over a year, so he's been super rusty. He comes out in his first game and dominates. It's not even like Sharif's this big body guy bullying people either. He's 6162 max. There's not too much more to say about Sharif. You could go on and on about him and rave about him. Yes, he made some rookie mistakes, especially late in the game. Besides that, he looked fabulous though. Cooper proved his worth in just this single game alone, and I can't even imagine how much his draft stock went up after this. If he keeps us up throughout the season, he's for sure gonna be a lottery pick. There's no question. I'm gonna end this video off with this. The thing that's most impressive about him is that he took this terrible Auburn team that's been 0-3 and struggling, and he made them look super good when they're really not. That's what NBA executives and scouts are gonna be looking for and paying attention. How good can Sharif make others around him? A side note to throw in there too is that I wanna mention before I end this video is that Auburn didn't have their other good player known as Powell. I'm not too sure what's going on with him, so if you know, let me know in the comment section. But he didn't play, so if he plays, they might win this game. All in all though, Sharif Cooper, yes he balled out. He made some mistakes, but it's okay. He gets a pass, and I think we can all agree with that. Alabama comes out with the win, and this was a great game to watch. Let me know what you think about Sharif's performance down below. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you're new to the channel, what are you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out of breath. I'm going to leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.